Welcome to our lecture online. So how does a dielectric affect a capacitor? A dielectric is kind of an insulating material that does not conduct electricity very well, but it does allow the molecules or the atoms inside the dielectric to turn some, some distance, some angular distance, in such a way that the, that the molecules, which tend to be polar, are negative charge on one side and positive charge on the other side, so the negative charge of the molecule tends to turn towards the positive plate, and the positive charge of the molecule tends to turn towards the negative plate, so it sets up an electric field inside the dielectric that opposes the original electric field caused by the charge on the plates. What that does is that these positive charges that are being pushed onto the plate by the voltage source, well, Without the dielectric, you can only put so many on there until the repulsive forces equal the force of the, of the voltage supply trying to push them on there. So once those forces are balanced, you can't push additional charges onto the plate. But if you create a region right here on the dielectric that is negatively charged, it pulls on the charges and allows more charges to be put on there by that same voltage supply. So the same voltage is now able to push more charges on there because the repulsive forces between the positive charges here are offset by the pull of the negative charges of dielectric. And so the dielectric essentially increases the effectiveness of the capacitor. So without the dielectric, using the dimensions we're given, the plates are 5 millimeters apart, the area is 2 square meters, and the voltage supply is 10,000 volts, pushing the charges onto the plates, the capacitance then would be 3.54 times 10 to the minus 9 farads. And the amount of charge you can collect on them, well, since capacitance is charge over voltage, charge therefore is the product of capacitance and voltage, so the capacitance of that capacitor times the voltage allows you to push this much charge onto the capacitor using a 10,000 volt supply. But if you now place a dielectric in there, dielectric has what we call a dielectric constant, the equation then changes to this. You multiply the capacitance times the dielectric constant. So this is the capacitance without the dielectric constant, this is the capacitance with the dielectric constant. In our example, let's say that K is 5, which is a reasonable number for a dielectric. Then that means that the capacitance is now increased five-fold. And instead of 3.54 times 10 to the minus 9 farads, it's now 1.77 times 10 to the minus 8 farads, five times as, as great. And therefore, the amount of charge you can place on the capacitor with the same voltage supply is now five times as much because you have five times the capacitance, and so you can hold this much charge with that capacitor, now that it has a dielectric in there, with the same voltage supply. And that's the advantage of using a dielectric in a capacitor by increasing the capacitance of that capacitor. And that is how it's done.